Welcome to the presentation on adding and subtracting negative numbers. So let's let's get started. So what is a negative number, first of all? Well, let me draw a number line. Uh, well, it's not much of a line, but I think you'll get the picture. So we're used to the positive numbers. So if that's 0, you have 1, you have 2, you have 3, you have 4, and you keep going. And if I were to say, what's 2 plus 2? You'd start at 2, and then you'd add 2. You'd get to 4. I mean, most of us have second nature, but if you actually drew it on a number line, you'd say 2 plus 2 is 4. And if I asked you what's 2 minus 1, or let's say what's 3 minus 2, if you started at 3 and you subtracted 2, you would end up at 1. And that's 2 plus 2 is equal to 4, and 3 minus, one is e 3 minus 2 is equal to 1. Now, this is a joke for you. Now, what if I were to say, what is 1 minus 3? Huh. Well, it's the same thing. You start at 1, and we're going to go 1. Well, now we're going to go below 0. What happens below 0? Well, then you start going to the negative numbers. Negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, and so on. So if I start at 1, right here, so 1 minus 3, so 1, so I go 1, 2, 3, I end up at negative 2. So 1 minus 3 is equal to negative 2. And it, it, this is something that you're probably already doing in your everyday life. If I, were to, if I were to tell you that, boy, it's very cold today, it's 1 degree, but tomorrow it's going to be 3 degrees colder, you might already know intuitively, well, then we're going to be at the te a temperature of, of negative 2 degrees. So that's all a negative number means. And just remember, when a negative number is uh, big, so like negative, negative 50, that's actually colder than negative 20, right? So a negative 50 is actually even a smaller number than negative 20 because it's even further to the left of negative 20. That's just something you, uh, you'll get an intuitive feel for. Sometimes when you start, you feel like, oh, 50 is a bigger number than 20, but it's a negative 50 as opposed to a, a positive 50. So, so let's, let's do some problems. And I'm going to keep using the number line because I think it's useful. So let's do the problem. Let's do the problem 5 minus 12. And I think you already might have an intuition of, of what this equals. But let me draw a line. 5 minus 12. OK. Whoops. 5 minus 12. So let me start with minus 10, minus 9, minus 8. I think I'm going to run out of space. Minus 7, minus 6, minus 5. I should have this pre-drawn. Minus 4, minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. And we'll put 5 right here. And we'll push this arrow out a little bit. OK. 5 minus 12. So if we start at 5, let me use a different color. We start at 5 right here. And we're going to go to the left, 12, because we're subtracting 12. So then we go 1. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Negative 7. That's pretty interesting, because it also happens to be that 12 minus 5 is equal to positive 7. So I want you to think a little bit about why that is, uh, why, why the difference between 12 and 5 is 7, and the difference between, um, between, uh, well, I guess it's either way. In this situation, we're also saying that the difference between 5 and 12 is negative 7, but the numbers are that far apart. But now we're starting with the, the lower number. I think that last sentence just completely confused you, but, but we'll keep moving forward. We just said 5 minus 12 is equal to, is equal to minus 7. Let's do another one. Let's, what if it was negative 3 plus 5? equals what? Well, let's use the same number line. Let's go to negative 3 plus 5. So we're going to go to the right 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It's a 2. It gets us to 2. It equals 2. So negative 3 plus 5 is equals 2. And that's interesting, because 5 minus 3 is also equal to 2. Well, it turns out that 5 minus 3 is the same thing as just another way of writing 5 plus negative 3, or 
negative 3 plus 5. So a general easy way to always do negative numbers is it's just like regular subtraction and, and uh, addition and subtraction. But now when we subtract, we can go to the left below 0. Let's do another one. So what happens when you get, let's say, 2 minus minus 3? Well, if you, if you think about why it, it, how it should work out, I think this will make sense. But it turns out that the negative number, the negative signs actually cancel out. So this is the same thing as 2 plus plus 3, and that just equals 5. Another way you could say is, uh, let's do another one. What is negative 7 minus minus 2? Well, that's the same thing as negative 7 plus 2. And remember, so we're going to start at negative 7, and we're going to move 2 to the right. So if we move 1 to the right, we go to negative 6. And then we move 2 to the right, we get negative 5. And that makes sense, because negative 7 plus 2, that's the same thing as 2 minus 7. If it's 2 degrees and it gets 7 degrees colder, it's minus 5. Let's do a bunch of these. And I think the more you do, the more practice you have. And the modules explain it pretty well, probably better than I do. Um, so let's let's just do a ton of problems. So if I said negative seven minus three, well now we're going to go three to the left of negative seven. We're going to get three less than negative seven, so that's negative ten, right? That makes sense because if we had positive seven plus three, we're seven to the right of zero, and we're going to go three more to the right of zero, and we get positive ten. So for seven to the left of zero, and we go three more to the left, we're going to get negative ten. Let's do a bunch more. I know I'm probably confusing you, but practice is what's going to really help us. So let's say 3 minus minus 3. Well, these negatives cancel out, so that just equals 6. What's 3 minus 3? Well, 3 minus 3, that's easy. That's just 0. What's minus 3 minus 3? Well, now we're going to get 3 less than minus 3. Well, that's minus 6. What's minus 3 minus minus 3? Interesting. Well, the minuses cancel out, so you get minus 3 plus 3. Well, if we start 3 to the left of 0 and we move 3, three to the right, we end up at 0 again. So that makes sense, right? Because if we said, let me do that again, minus 3 minus minus 3. Anything minus itself should equal 0, right? And that's why that equals 0. And that's why it makes sense that those two negatives cancel out, that that's the same thing as this. Let's do a bunch more. Let's do uh, 12 minus 13. I think you should be able to fit. That's pretty easy. Well, we're going to go all the 12 minus 12 is 0, so 12 minus 13 is negative 1, because we're going to go 1 to the left of 0. Let's do 8 minus 5. Well, this one is just a normal problem. That's 3. What's 5 minus 8? Well, we're going to go all the way to 0, and then 3 more to the left of 0, so it's minus 3. I mean, I could draw a number line here. If this is 0, this is 5. And now we're going to go to the left, 8. And then we end up at negative 3. And you could do that for all of these. That actually might be a good exercise. I think this will give you a good introduction. And I recommend that you just do the modules, because the modules actually, especially if you do the hints, it has a pretty nice graphic that's a lot nicer than anything I could draw on this uh, chalkboard. So uh, try that out. And I'm, I'm going to try to record some more modules that hopefully won't confuse you as badly. And uh, you can also attend the seminar on, on adding and subtracting negative numbers. I hope you have fun. Bye.